Kelsey and Nathan have been together since high school, and within a few months of dating, Nathan's dad claimed he knew that they were going to get married within, like, what, two weeks? Two months? Something like that. It was very early on. So David, you nailed it there. Um, and because they fit so perfectly together, um, we all believe David's prediction, knowing that Nathan was Kelsey's lobster. I've known Nathan a really long time, and I think I know quite a bit about him. I know his personality, likes and dislikes, flaws, but most importantly, his character. I don't think I've met a more selfless man, someone who always puts other people first. His military service is just an example of that. Most importantly, he has the most positive outlook on life that I know. Kelsey is a super sweet woman. She's bubbly, nice to everyone she meets. She's always easy to talk to and lets off a radiant positive energy. Most of all, she's put up with Nathan for this long before they got married.
about seven years, but it feels like you've been a part of the family very early on. He is the perfect match for Kelsey. I can always tell that Kelsey is the love of his life just by the way he looks at her, like she's the only one in the room. Every time I see these two together, they're always so happy. I want other people to look at the, at the two of them and say, look how happy they are. I want that. So I would love nothing more than for everyone to be envious of what these two have. And then in closing, I want you two to remember very important things. So when you rearrange the furniture, always remember to pivot. When you buy or build furniture, make sure you get the measurements correctly. Always remember to look at each other and ask, how you doing? Read the entire makeup letter, even if it's 18 pages, front and back at five o'clock in the morning. Don't be insecure about each other's work life. Jealousy ruins relationships. For more space in the bed, Nathan, always remember the hug and roll technique. You can't run from your problems. They might follow you even if it's all the way to Yemen. And it's okay to spend Fridays or Saturday nights at home in your PJs playing board games. And most importantly, always communicate and be honest with each other about what you want or how you feel about each other. And always, always remember, believe in Unagi.